Aku pare kawa kawa kuari ro atsura kama ringi ringi iho aku ro e mata he tia pui pari haka e ta kiri ra wate mara mai te pae. Te nei au katu i te pua huru o te ao Māori. Ka toa i ake taku kaupapa kōrero, kia hāhu ake ai ki te mata ārero, kia hū ake i konei. Tītira whakamuri, kia anga whakamua. Nau e te pimi a te kōrero, hei wi kotahi tātou. Engari rā, kia tirohia e tātou, tō tātou ake hitori. Our thoughts turn to the past, to the forefathers from Taranaki, the descendants of Parihaka who were imprisoned for simply following the words of Te Whitsi o Rongomai and Tohu Kākahi. Te Whitsi o Rongomai dreamt of uniting his people through passive resistance, a passive resistance which allows Māori to peacefully stand up to the injustices and disempowerment they face. At the time of Te Whitsi's death, in 1907, he lay within white albatross feathers. Tare Waitara, who delivered the eulogy, spoke. Let this be understood by all Māori, Pākehā, and all other nations. The white feather is a sign that all nations of the world will be one. Black, red, and all others who are called human beings. This feather will be the sign of unity, prosperity, peace, and goodwill. Throughout time we have seen many other rangatira who embody this white feather image. For example, Dame Fina Cooper in her vision for Māori land acknowledgement in return. Bob Marley in his fight to change the system through his music. And Pani and Newton, like Dame Fina Cooper, resisting the confiscation of Ihumatao and the breach of the Treaty of Waitangi. From these raukura, we see the beginnings of the korowai the strength of our people and the spark of determination towards our common goal, unity. From these rangatira, we see the next layer of the korowai, the people, the kaitautoko. This race unity event paving the way for the opinions of rangatahi to matter, even during a world pandemic, proving the potential that this korowai has for success. COVID-19 has been a setback all over the world, and a destructive pathway for racism. Our Asian Whanaunga facing harassment in person, online, and not receiving fair and equal treatment. By people in power labelling the coronavirus, the Chinese virus, xenophobia is encouraged and tensions between countries are increased. While the virus did in fact originate in China, and the statement is not entirely racist, it fuels a nasty fire full of hatred towards China and its people, as though it is some sort of blame game. Despite the fight against COVID-19 occurring outside of these four walls, we are staying together, progressing our journey to race unity throughout the most trying of times, lengthening our korowai. The 5th of November. What do you think of? Is it Guy Fawkes? Is it fireworks? For me, it is the invasion of Parihaka Pa in 1881. The cracking and booming of the fireworks replicating the sound of gunshots echoing across the country. The gunshots of the New Zealand land wars, killing Māori and killing Pākehā. The gunshots of the March 15th mosque attacks, killing Muslims. Pauhia Mota! Pauhia Whakapapa! Whilst our country's unity after the mosque attacks brings a beautiful sense of hope and progression of unity through devastating times, why does it take so much death to bring unity? Why are we so ignorant towards our past? Why is it that we celebrate the failure of an assassination attempt in England? 
but fail to recognise one of the most significant events in New Zealand's history. Me tīm mata tā tātou koke whakamua, ki te ara ki tua, ki te rā e whetima iana, kia ho hau wai te rongo, kia noho ngā tahi tātou katoa i roto i te rangi mārie. Ka tīkina atu te kōrero a tā apirana ngata e mea ana. Te tini tamatoa i o hā kitia moa pōpō. Ko te wawata ia, te rā pea ka huri mai o tātou hoa pākehā ki te ata whai. Nō reira, kai aku whanau ngā pākehā, ata whai mai ki tēnei waka o tātou. Mā reira pea, e rira wai i a tātou, he rā motu hake mō o tātou tipuna katoa. Kia kaua e wai ho tēnei kaupapa, kia tāre wa tonu i te takiwā, e tō tāra wā hiru a tonu atu wai te Māori me te pākehā. Nā tō rauro, nā taku rauro, ka ora ai te iwi. It is with your food basket and my food basket that people will thrive. This whakatauki encapsulates the notion that while working in isolation might result in survival, working together can take people beyond survival and onto prosperity. This leads us towards the last phase of our korowai, working together to create success using the knowledge and history of all people in our country. When weaving your kōrowai, you cannot skip the first line, the history, otherwise there is no foundation for the weaving to begin. Despite the harsh reality and difficulty we have talking about our country's history, it is a necessity for our people to be able to work as one, the ability for our kōrowai to stay strong and functional. The exposure of the past provides the best reason to improve the future for the generations to come, to weave together our strength and unite. Nā waiā, hei wi kotahi tātou. Me mātua a ngā whakamua tātou ki te ōranga tonu tanga o ngai Māori mā, o ti rā o ngai Aotearoa mā. Mā te aha, mā te mōhi o ki tō tātou waketua kiritanga. Me te whakamana, me te whakatapu i o tātou tīpuna i mate ai i konei. A, ki te anga whakamua, ki te rangi mārie, ki te waikanaitanga, ki te ōranga tonu tanga o tātou katoa. Me mautohe, mā rangāke, takurau kura e hei!